all right welcome to this competitive programming setup video i'll be showing you a very simple yet strong setup that i personally use all the time i'll be explaining for every operating system so don't worry you'll be able to follow to do the setup we'll need the following tools a c compiler we'll be using gcc meaning g because in cp we mostly use the bits standard c header and the pbds library an IDE will use VS Code because it's great and tools and extensions that will make our life easier. First step, C++ installation. If you're on Linux, you can install G++ using package manager of your respective distro. If you're on Mac, you probably have Clang installed as G++. You can check that by doing G++ version. We'll leave it as it is and install G++ like this using brew. The command to use the compiler would be G++-10 or minus 11. Uh, your brew installation should tell you what is the name of this binary and you can check if that works by using the binary name hyphen version if you're on windows you're gonna need to install mingw but it doesn't have sanitizer library ascent however you can install g inside of wsl2 and then later link vs code with wsl i don't have a windows machine so i can't show you so if you want to do this you're gonna have to do it yourself you'll definitely learn new things so i encourage you to try so you have a c compiler now now let's go and install VS Code from Microsoft's website for your corresponding OS. It's as simple as downloading and then accepting to sell your soul to Microsoft. Once you have VS Code installed, let's go and install the C++ extension from Marketplace. This will be useful for IntelliSense. You can optionally install a linter as well if you like. We won't be using its build tool because it's kind of trash and unnecessary for CP. We'll use competitive programming helper extension. So install that. Now let's set up our CP project and also these extensions. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button, really helps a lot. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is uh, make a CP workspace directory and then open that in VS Code, whichever way you like. I use the code command. And now, uh, first of all, what you're going to do is create a file main.cpp. This is the file that we will use uh, for all of our submissions. Uh, we won't have a new file for every new problem because that's redundant you already have those solutions on code forces or whichever website you submit on now the first thing you want to do is uh, press command shift p to get this pop-up or control shift p if you're on windows i think and uh, write c plus plus ui and you'll get this option press enter go ahead and choose your g plus plus compiler so because i'm on mac i'm using g plus plus minus 11 and then you're gonna go and update the IntelliSense mode. So because I'm on Mac and because it is Apple silicon chip, I'm gonna choose Mac OS GCC ARM and because it is 64 bit, 64. You can you will choose probably Linux, Linux GCC 64 or uh, Windows GCC 64, whichever you have. And then uh, go ahead and define the standard to C standard C17 and C++ C++ 17. Now let's close it and our IntelliSense is set up. You can check that by writing hash include bits standard C++ and since we are getting an autocomplete that means our uh, IntelliSense is set up. Now let's set up the competitive programming helper extension. Go to preferences settings extensions and then CPH competitive programming helper. Now what you want to do here is uh, you can reduce the CPH choices to just C++ if you only use that and then also set a timeout that if your code runs for more than three seconds you just kill it kill the process and now uh, you choose what is the C++ binary that you're gonna need since I'm on Mac I'm using G++-11 whichever of yours on writing hyphen hyphen version give something like GCC is your binary and also now you need to set up the flags so i keep all my flags in my submission so if i go to any of my submission like this uh, so i keep all my flags in my submissions so that i can always copy so go ahead copy these or if you don't have any flags or uh, use uh, your own flags and paste them here and once you have pasted them now you can run this code so to run go to the cpa judge create a problem ignore warning forever and uh, let, let's simplify this codes uh, to just print the test case print tc and let's enter 4 and 
if I run this, okay, I need, since I'm on uh, Apple Silicon, it does not have AVX2. So I have to comment that out. I can add an if def. So as you can see, it runs. And now uh, to submit, so what you're gonna do is, uh, let's say this was the code and this is what I wanna submit. So you copy this code and now to submit, you have two options. You can either go choose a file and submit, but that is slow. So what you do is uh, go to this blog and then click on the greasy fork. I'll have the link in the description and uh, go ahead and reinstall. Since I've already installed it, it is showing reinstall. You can go and install the script, but before that you need tamper monkey extension. And once the script is installed, you can reload the page and you will have the submission option. And you can just copy paste and submit and everything will work fine. The reason I don't use an automated submission tool which CPS does support. So this extension does support that. The reason I don't use is because in AdCoder and CodeChef also, uh, the system is like this. We co paste into an IDE. So it is better to have consistency across all platforms. So that was the setup. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever, and uh, join my Discord if you want to talk to me uh, for some random crap or give me suggestions, whatever. And I'll see you next time.